my 22f gf 21f refuses to get a checking account and i often to pay for her i have been dating my girlfriend for 1.5 years and she refuses to get a checking account she has a savings account that she gets cash from and a venmo card that she sometimes loads money onto however this often results in me having to pay for her meals groceries etc i keep trying to convince her to get a checking account so that she can start paying for stuff herself but she refuses to do so even though i am often covering her expenses and basically using my checking account she's pretty good at paying me back but it's not a long-term solution too long didn't read how can i convince my girlfriend to get a checking account either she is hiding something wildly uninformed, or actively trying to get you to pay her way all the time. Or multiple of the above she says she doesn't trust banks. Which doesn't make sense because she uses Venmo which I can't imagine is any better than a bank. You technically don't have to pay for her, she has no reason to take care of her own finances as long as she has you to use for money. Stop acting like her ATM and stop letting her take advantage of you. You can't force her to do anything, but having you as a safety net gives her no incentive to grow up. Can she load the card online? If so, get her to load it before going to the grocery store. Or go to the ATM first. Do not go to wherever until she has prepared herself to pay. Put the hassle back on her. It's her choice to make the process more difficult and annoying. Also consider that the refusal is just a way to weasel out of paying her share. What about banking apps like Revolut or Monzo? They're a little closer in experience to Venmo and maybe will be an easier revenue. Honestly I wouldn't waste my time convincing her, I would just stop enabling this behavior. Next time she runs out of money tell her that you're happy to help her set up an account so that she can pay but you need to be able to manage your accounts and budget and having these random outgoings and then money paid back is making that harder for you and won't work in the long term. Start helping her with the solution rather than enabling her avoidance, make setting up the account an easier option than trying to figure out how to pay her bills without one. She's unlikely to starve or get evicted because she had to wait 3 to 5 days to top up her Venmo, and she's a fully grown adult who needs to take responsibility for her own life. My husband, 26M, is getting resentful of me, 26F, and my job. I work in direct patient care, not COVID patients but it's still a major hospital. My husband has worked from home ever since March. We've been married one year. We live in a suburb away from all friends and family. My parents are within driving distance. His family really isn't. To say my husband has been sad about the pandemic has been an understatement. Right from the beginning we cancelled our honeymoon and prepared to hunker down for who knows how long. With my job it's a miracle I haven't gotten COVID yet. Many of my patients don't wear their masks right or at all. We've been taking a lot of precautions. Trips to the grocery store every other week. No restaurant dining just take out or delivery. The only fun place we go is to the park once a week at the butt crack of dawn so we avoid others. Otherwise we just sit inside. For the past couple of months we have seen my parents for a couple hours every month. We cannot see his family at all. Lately my husband has been complaining that my job has made things especially worse. He's jealous of co-workers able to plan small gatherings and see family for the holidays. He will be spending Thanksgiving without his family for the first time in his his life and it's really getting him down. I understand his frustration but him getting mad at my job solves nothing. I can't just quit working. I've been trying to make the best of things by doing hobby projects. He has too, but he mostly just plays video games. We usually take a week off around the Christmas season and a few days for Thanksgiving and now I'm wondering if it's even worth taking any time off at all. Especially with how grumpy he's been lately. I'm a little worried he may decide to quarantine away from me and then spend holidays with his family, although he said he wouldn't do that. I don't know. What can we do? Too long didn't read, husband is frustrated that my hospital job prevents us from having any kind of social life. Not that we really had one before Covid. Hey so I have a somewhat similar situation, except without the working in a hospital. Also had to cancel our honeymoon and it stinks. Some options, 1. Take a vacation together to a remote Airbnb in a pretty place, 
Bring groceries with you. You are now quarantining on vacation. Enjoy and recommend going somewhere without internet to really get away. 2. If you want to see family but don't have time to quarantine, get a test done. Depending on where you are and your healthcare plan this could be expensive or free. In summer I suggested the cabin option and he just felt uncomfortable. I could ask again but with cases on the rise I think he'll feel the same way. You should take the time off or not change holiday plans yet. If you do it preemptively out of spite it would make matters worse. It sounds like he is depressed and lonely. Do you have any shared hobbies you can do more often together? I would also work on just breaking up routines if you can and try and be a bit more spontaneous. Focus on ways to help strengthen your connection to each other. I doubt he is serious about you quitting your job and short of that there isn't anything you can do differently there. I'm confused, he is able to work remotely. As another person commented, if he gets tested before and after his trip, the risk is very low. On his return, he quarantines himself in your house for two weeks, which should be easy since he works from home. You wouldn't be able to tag along with him unfortunately due to your job. Also your risk of catching COVID from you working your hospital job every day is insanely high compared to his chance of risk for a short trip to see his family while being tested before slash after and following necessary precautions. The important thing to note here is this conversation isn't only COVID and breaking the safety rules to see family. His his mental health is a serious factor here and there is risk there that should be considered. Maybe let him go alone if his mental health is taking such a bad hit. If he works from home and can't go anywhere or meet anyone besides you, he'll end up resenting you sooner than later. At least you get to meet people at work but he must be really deprived of human interaction at this point. Can he go home and celebrate with his family? And you stay and celebrate with yours? I can't stay with my family. The most I could do is see them for a little while with masks on, and then go home. He can go if he's willing to quarantine away from me before and after. I, 21M, need advice on how to make my girlfriend, 19F, feel pursued. We met at the beginning of the pandemic, so we've been seeing each other for almost 8 months. We spend a lot of time together, anywhere from 4 to 6 a week. She wants the relationship to feel fresh again, like I'm still trying to woo her. I tell her how I feel about her, and I give her tons of affection and words of affirmation, but clearly that's not the issue. I don't want to break the bank constantly buying her gifts or things of that nature. Too long didn't read, I need help making my girl feel desired and pursued. Not necessarily sexually but as a whole. Any tips and tricks? Much appreciated. Explain that this is not a rom-com in which the glamorous princess slash heroine is pursued to the end. This is real life, and the kind of familiarity that comes over time can lead to a much deeper sense of intimacy and connection than the false mechanics of pursuit. Then have a weekly date night in which you're no longer the pursuer and the pursued, but rather, two people building something together as equals. You should try talking about what exactly makes her feel special and loved. What excites her exactly? Only she has the answer. You could take a love language quiz together and talk about the question slash answers as you take it. Try to have more genuine conversations about what she feels specifically is missing for her and what things you've done in the past that made her feel loved. Gifts don't always have to break the bank, sometimes it's small things. Just really depends on how she prefers to receive love and what makes her feel loved. Same goes for you in the relationship as well OFC. I hope you both work it out. What does she do to make you feel desired and pursued? Do those things back to her. And if she thinks this is a one-way street, that's not how adult relationships work. Up in the girl in this position. Ha ha, my BF and I met in the pandemic too and I actually told him that I miss the beginning of our relationship. And I talked to a few friends, I realized that it is really hard right now with the pandemic and how nothing is really happening. All we can do is stay inside and cook, bake, watch Netflix, 
sleep or whatever together. It's become a pattern and I felt scared that I didn't want to be in the relationship anymore. He's also the same as you where he likes to buy gifts and take me on expensive dinner dates, but I really don't need that. He always tells me he loves me too and though it may be a big love language of mine, I just wanted to chase and be fun again. So, personally, I think you guys need to see each other less. My BF started working and it did help because we went from 7 days a week to 2 to 3. It gave me time to do stuff on my own and miss him. It also gave me new ideas of what I wanted to do the next time I saw him. There's also new things to talk about too when you take time apart. Also, if you guys are having sex, maybe try to spice it up a bit. Could be something new, fun, and exciting. Flirtatious texts that are unexpected or cute gestures are fun too. Show your love however you want to. If she doesn't accept it, then you deserve better. Like everyone has said, you get guys are young, maybe she does want to have some more fun and you can find new ways to flirt with her and make things, sparkles, mysterious, sparkles, again and ask her what she's looking for, all while you're still happy and she's still pursuing you. As long as the chemistry is still there, you two can keep working on this relationship. They're not always easy and you're dating during such a hard time. So props to us newly lovers in the pandemic trying to date in this unknown time, sick face, smiling face with hearts, good luck G, hugging face. Well Teef you're both super young, so you should know there is a honeymoon phase to every relationship. How long the honeymoon period lasts varies from relationship to relationship. During honeymoon phase it's impossible to assess anything accurately. If done right, post honeymoon phase turns more from an exploding firecracker to a solid campfire. Still a burn but steadier and less euphoric highs. I don't know how many relationships you each have had, but slow burn is when the issues come out. You still enjoy being together, but it's a deeper, and in a lot of ways a more real connection. But it is no doubt less exciting than the firecracker phase. So first acknowledge that. But then given that info, you can still find ways to keep things nice. It depends on her love language. Acts of service, like planning a special evening can go a long way. I know you said no gifts, but most, read all, so's like to receive surprise flowers. Or write a thoughtful card slash note if that's your thing. She just wants to know you can mix things up, show her a surprise so she has something to be excited about and that you are thinking about her.